So lead to the 1684 counted the number of consistent strings. So we're given a string allowed and an array words, and we want to count how many words in this array are consistent. Where consistent is if all of the characters in the string are in the string allowed. Okay, so to solve this, since the alphabet is only the English letters, you could do this without many data structures. But if you want to generalize this with any alphabet, then you want to use a set. So a set is a data structure where you can look up values. You can look up if some value is in the set in O of 1 time complexity. So imagine if you had like a very big alphabet, then like if the alphabet had something like a thousand characters, then like looping through an array of a thousand characters would be pretty slow. But if you use a set, it doesn't matter how many elements are in the set, you can always look up whether or not some element is in that set or not in O of 1. So yeah, we're going to transform in our solution, we're going to transform the allowed string into a set to allow for better lookup timings. Okay, so let's start by having our result counter. So we initialize a result variable with a value of zero initially. This is just going to be the number of words that are consistent. Then we transform our allowed string into a set to allow for O of 1 lookup into this set, even if like the alphabet, so even if the allowed string is very large, so we're not maybe using only the English characters, but maybe we're using special symbols, uppercase, letters, numbers, and so on. Okay, now what you do is you look through all of the words in your words array, and you add one to your result if the word is consistent, right? So you add one to the result if the word is allowed, is consistent. And now all that's left is to return the result after doing this for loop. And now you need to implement this is allowed function. So the definition of a string, a word being allowed or consistent is if all of its characters appear in the string allowed. So you just need to perform one lookup for every character in the word and then we're done. So we define our is allowed function. Given a word, we take every character in our word and we check if the character is in the set. And if it is, then it's okay. But if it is not, then we need to return false, because then the string is not allowed, it's not consistent, right? So if the set doesn't have our current character of our word, then we need to return false. But if we never return false in this for loop, then it means that all of the characters in our word are in the allowed set, and so we can return true, right? So that's it, that's the method solution, to show that it works. And the time complexity is O of n, where n is the amount of characters total in the words array. And the space complexity is O of n, where n is the amount of allowed characters, uh, just because you need to store them in a set. Okay, so that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and bye.